them. Power, power, never. Ever. My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop. And before we get into any, any particulars with valves, let's just talk about the difference between variable valve lift and variable valve timing. So you have variable valve timing, right? And sometimes it's called VBTI because they have the injection bit. Don't know why they're still trying to sell everyone on the injection. That was kind of like an 80s thing. But anyway, so basically a variable lift, a variable valve timing changes when the valve opens and closes compared to the crankshaft rotation. So let's just say you have a uh, just a regular engine and then it'll open its valve there and then it'll close its valve there. You can also do these in circles where it'll open there and it'll close there like that and this will be degrees. Degrees, there we go. So you'll have a duration, that's this bit here. Right, this is controlled physically by your camshaft profile. So the ramp on your camshaft nose, uh, as that goes round that basically actuates the valve, rockers, lifters, doesn't matter. Push rods, it doesn't really matter. It's fixed. So variable, so let's just say we map this out, so that's zero degrees there, and just say this is, there is 180. These aren't real numbers, it's just for me to trot about on. So this is your duration, and in this case will be open. So this is open here like that and then all the rest of it is closed. So having variable valve timing means that we can either shift this so we can wait there and add it on there. So now we're doing this, this is our open. Or if the fucking thing ever worked, the free valve system. <laughs> With the free valve system what you can do is you can change so we're open and then closed or we're open and then close early or we open close open we can do whatever we want with it if it's an electronic an electronically controlled system through hydraulic and pneumatic actuation but that's what variable valve timing is is that we change if you think about that um, valve timing diagram where we have a circle like this you can think of this as a clock with 12 o'clock and then three, six, and nine, and we just split it into degrees instead of time, and it's how long this valve is open for our duration. Right, that is variable valve timing. We can shorten it, increase it, or shift where it starts and stops. Now, like I say, generally, um, VVTIs, like what uh, VVTI is the name that I think Volkswagen give it, or what have you, they basically just shift when this opens or just make it last longer. So in general operation it opens like this and then at a certain point they can actuate it and leave it open for longer, stuff like that. So that's variable valve timing and that's where we get the timing thing from, it's a bit like a clock. Variable valve lift is completely different. So when your valve, come on get this right, when your valve opens so let's just say, uh, there's our port wall like that, it goes up like that, and yeah it doesn't fit but forget it. Our lift is how far we open here, so this is our lift. Now why would we want to change this? We were talking about, and we'll go more into it, about velo uh, port velocities and stuff like that. This is actually a restriction which would speed up the velocity of your flow as it flows through dropping the pressure so forth. It's not as simple as that because then we've got this valve stem and this deflection and this is turbulence and all sorts of horrible nasties which we'll get to. But our valve lift basically um, controls our restriction. So we've got a, an area here of our port. As air flows in, this valve here is a restrictor. If you had a valve lift that was smaller, just say like there, then this would be a narrow opening. You can measure this as a band, which would be um, the circumference there and basically your lift there. So variable valve lift means that we can change from one state to the other. Um, continuous or infinitely variable valve lift, which means we can pick whatever. Why would you want to do this at low RPM 
when the flow velocities aren't that high because the engine is quite slow and sluggish you can then have a lower lift so you can open just a bit this will increase port velocity speed and then when you start opening the taps and you want mass flow rates to increase you can then open the valve even more some of these systems again are mechanical systems where they open in one state and then open fully in another state so they have two states some even have three and then if you add a, an electric pneumatic hydraulic control valve just say like a free valve kind of system um, then you could basically have a, an infinitely variable if it has that option hope that makes sense that's the difference between the two and i'll see you in a bit